Joining me now, House GOP Chairwoman, New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. Congresswoman, welcome to you. Same question. Why do you think Lynn Youngkin succeeded where other Republicans have not? Well, number one, Glenn Youngkin was an exceptional candidate. He was a positive candidate who ran on issues that matter to people's lives, that matter to the people of Virginia. He made education a priority, which allowed him to grow uh, his base, not just from registered Republicans, but independents and Democrats who are fed up with the status quo and our failing education system, particularly during COVID. He ran on the economy, making sure that Virginia is, from his perspective, the strongest state in the nation to create jobs and grow small businesses as they have struggled when it comes to the recovery after COVID. And he ran as a big tent Republican. Uh, not only did he do well in rural communities, which he won by 27 points, Trey, but he also did well in the suburbs. Uh, and he expanded our support among Hispanics, African Americans, suburban women. So this was about addition, not subtraction. But this is an example where candidates matter, campaigns matter, and the issues that you run on and your message matters. On the flip side, Democrats ran a campaign of of the past. It was like they were relitigating the 2020 election. Terry McAuliffe talked more about Donald Trump than he did, frankly, about Glenn Youngkin. Uh, we remember at the end that Terry McAuliffe brought in surrogates from the past, including former President Barack Obama. Uh, the last day was uh, his speaker from a former head of New York State Teachers Unions. Uh, so it was very much a Democratic campaign of the past, not of the future. And of course, the results showed at the ballot box with such an overwhelming win, not just for Glenn Youngkin, but the most of First ticket with Winsome Sears as the lieutenant governor candidate. Congresswoman, Republicans do not always do well with women voters uh, or young moms. And lucky for me, you happen to be both. Congratulations again on being a brand new mom. How can Republicans not in Virginia take these lessons and apply them in their own congressional districts or even in a national race? I think bringing solutions is really important. And the issue of education, I can tell you, as a new mom, while Sam is only 10 weeks old, I already think a lot about making sure that he has the best education possible. Republicans are the party of parents. Democrats are the party, frankly, of the failing status quo. They prioritize the teachers' union instead of the students, parents, and teachers. Uh, this race really showed that the Republican Party is truly the party of parents. And I actually serve on the education committee, Trey. This is a growth opportunity for us to share our message. Uh, in addition, economic opportunity is huge for working moms, uh, making sure that there's good paying jobs. And then I would say the inflation is having an impact up and down the ballot. Uh, this is in some ways um, a judgment on Joe Biden's failed economic policies as working moms, as women are seeing the inflated cost, whether it's when they go to the grocery store or even diapers. I see those costs going up month to month. You know, uh, Congresswoman, sometimes uh, winners um, misread a narrow victory into a mandate. Uh, and every now and again, uh, people that lose uh, make a whole lot of excuses other than the obvious. You, you were you voted this week after the Virginia election results. I, did your colleagues on the other side of the aisle learn anything or are they really planning to go bigger and faster despite what happened in Virginia? They are doubling down, Trey. House Democrats are attempting to go bigger and faster and more spending. Uh, we are already facing an economic crisis, whether it's the labor shortage coupled with the inflation crisis. Democrats are currently discussing a multi-trillion dollar spending package, the biggest spending package in our nation's history, the largest tax hike in our nation's history. So they are doubling down on the failed policies. They did not learn the lessons of Virginia that it is not the far-left socialist ideas that voters are looking for for voters are looking for candidates that actually stand up for the issues that matter to them, that have solutions when it comes to addressing the economic crisis. But instead, Nancy Pelosi is being controlled by the far left. Um, so in the coming weeks, we will see as they negotiate uh, their trillion dollar tax and spend package just how costly it will be for the American people. And what's really important for the American people to know is they wanted to vote on that before a congressional budget office score, which means getting rid of the Washington speech that means that they didn't actually know how costly it would be to the taxpayers and how significant the tax increases would be. The American people deserve to know the cost, the true cost of how many trillions this is going to take over the next decade. Well, Congresswoman, I hope that you are actively involved with Leader McCarthy and others in setting the 
the agenda, picking the candidates for the fall. It has all of the, the makings of a successful fall if Republicans can avoid blowing it. And by the way, you said Sam is 10 weeks old? Yes. I'm sure he's already reading, knowing you. As smart as you are, my guess is he's already reading. Thank you for joining us on a Sunday night. I look forward to visiting with you again. Thank you, Trey. We read every day. <laughs>